Mix everything together. Put in the oven and your dinner will be ready. For this recipe, we will add to potatoes cut into a container. We will also add to tomatoes cut into small pieces. Then the same with an onion already cut. We will also use a grated carrot. Now we will also add a cut green pepper. And to finish, we will also add 500 grams of ground meat. This is the main ingredient for the recipe. Now let's spice up our recipe. Let's start using three chopped garlic cloves and also two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then we will also use a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of oregano, and to finish, also 100 milliliters of water. The ideal now is to mix all the ingredients very well. And before I forget, tell me which city is watching us to send you a special hug. Today's hug goes to Joseph Walla from the UK. I'm glad you're enjoying our recipes. I'm sure this recipe will impress you by its ease. It is a great option to do on days that you do not have much time to cook. It became one of my favorites the first time I tried it. Once it is at this point, we will only cover the entire recipe with foil and then bake at 356 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. Once we pass this time, we will also add mozzarella cheese. Over the entire recipe, the amount is your choice. I'm adding a lot because I like cheese. Using only a few ingredients present in everyday life, we can make a recipe much tastier than those sold in conventional restaurants. Then we will take it back to the oven for another 10 minutes until it melts completely. The cheese in our recipe was already ready. Look what delight was. Teach that friend of yours that loves to eat meat. I'm sure he will love and even do often in his house. There is no reason not to experiment. It is very easy and practical to prepare. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.